where would we be without our smartphones? Some might be happier, but most of us probably couldn't even count how many times we use them to send pictures and video. And as we celebrate Black History Month, Don Baker joins us with a one-on-one -on -one interview with one of the engineers who's responsible for revolutionizing the Internet. Well, Dr. Thomas Mensa worked along with three other men, names you should know, Bob Moore, Don Keck, and Peter Schultz to invent a laser fiber optic system back in the 1980s. They had no idea how it would change our way of life. Uh, without these four guys, the internet won't work because we invented a laser-based fiber optic system that allows anybody to send a picture to somebody else's cell phone. Without that invention, you cannot send a tweet, you cannot send an Instagram pictures, no Facebook. So we let Facebook, Google, and all those things happen. Uh -huh. Because before we did it, everything was using copper. Uh -huh. You would stand in front of an ATM machine for about eight hours. But now you go in and get things quickly because of that invention of fiber optics. During that time, how did you even think of this? Well, I had come out of MIT as a chemical engineer, and I was hired to solve a problem because they couldn't take the invention out of the laboratory. And within six months, I've solved the problem and made it feasible so that fiber optics could be cheap and it could replace copper wires throughout America. Yeah. Did you ever think we would live in a society now where we would all be walking around with computers and sharing this information? No, it, never, of it, times it, it never dawned upon us. Because right now, in your pocket, you have a computer that is more powerful than the computer that, was, that designed the Apollo rocket. So you can get all the information in the world on this computer. But the only way you can send anything Send a cell phone to somebody else's cell phone is through the fiber optic system we created. Well, it is important for all of us to thank those engineers for that laser fiber optic system. And to learn more about Dr. Thomas Mensa, look for this story on WTOC.com. And coming up tomorrow on The News at 5, we're heading to the Low Country for a look at some of the historic sites that make up the new National Reconstruction Era Monument.